We're trying nail stamping for the first time ever today. I'm in over my head. I do a lot of DIY nails. I do dip nails. I've dabbled in gel, but I've never done nail stamping before. These are from Flora Nail Shop. They are the clear jelly stamper brand. They are super high quality nail stamping, highly recommended. And uh, we're gonna see how this is gonna go. I'm feeling pretty jazzy, like a little too confident in my abilities. So we're going to actually do designs on two different nails that I think are above my pay grade, but we're gonna give it a go anyways. And we're gonna see how easy this is for someone who wants to try for the first time. <sighs> Wish me luck. It's gonna be an experience and we're gonna go through this experience together. So let's dive in. So the first thing I did was dip my nails. I'm using Rhea and Emily by Rebel Nail. I activated, buffed, and made sure that my nails were smooth and ready to go. Next, I applied this matte top coat. The owner of Flora Nail Shop recommended this. And while I'm a bit too confident in what I think I can accomplish in my first try here, I always listen to the experts. So we're going in with the matte top coat. I'm gonna try this design on the middle finger. I don't know exactly how to do the stripe, so we're just gonna guess. We're also going to mix up some colors. So I wanted to do a dark and light green. So I'm just mixing a little black into the green stamping polish that I have. And then I'm just adding that dark green mixture onto the stripes. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter green. So that way they alternate. And then we're going to grab our scraper like this. Uh oh. Oh no. They all came out. Ah, what happened? That's not supposed to work that way. This was bad guys. This is a bad start. Let's try again. Let's just mix more. That's going to be famous last words. Let's work faster this time. Maybe you go this way. Let's try this way. Nope. I don't know what's going on. Why do they make it look so easy on the internet? I did take off the plastic film. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. That's so excited. No wonder it wasn't working. Now that I'm embarrassed, now that you guys all see that, you know what, we all start somewhere. Let's start this rodeo over. Everyone who's nails did before was probably watching that entire time going, oh my God, you idiot. And we're gonna take our thing and we roll up like this. Oh, it's on there, mostly on there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna plop it on. That doesn't look hot, but it's like, it's not the worst. I think if we just keep, keep adding layers. Well, this is turning into a mess. This isn't what I, this isn't what I pictured. Maybe that was a little too, a little too much for us. And I'm gonna see if I can fix this. Okay, I know this is cheating, but we're gonna go in, we're gonna paint the lines in to try to fix this up. And then we're gonna go in with design number two. And for this one, we're gonna do this little watermelon because how hard can it be? So I mixed up some pink, added into the plate. We're scraping, we're grabbing it on the stamper and pressing it on. I made a little bit of a mess, but we'll see if we can fix that later. Next, I'm going in with the first part of the rind in this light green. Because the stamper is see-through, it was actually really easy to place this. Okay, that's cute. Now we're going in with the second part of the rind and the darker green. Cute. Okay, now I'm going in with the black outline for the watermelon. Grab it. Okay, like it's not perfect, but it's kind of cute. I mean, this didn't go exactly as I wanted it to, but I would say we're only going up from here. And the top coat made a huge difference. It really brought it all together. So here's a finished look. It's super cute. It's super fun. Definitely not perfect. There's a bit of smudging, but overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so all things considered, we now know we definitely take the foil off. We don't mess with the foil. But other than that, this was fun. It didn't go exactly as planned, but I think all things considered, it still looks pretty good for a first go. I would say the big takeaways are number one, take the foil off. Don't do what Kayla did. Number two, make sure that you have a base for ones like this. This one turned out okay when I like hand painted it on, but I didn't realize that the stripes would leave negative space, which if I would have looked at the stamp a little closer, I would have made the connection sooner. Again, we're learning here. This is a safe space. It's a safe space to learn DIY nails. Also, I need to sort out why we're smudging, but that's the fun of DIY nails. You can try new things and you never know what's gonna happen. It's an experience. Definitely give nail stamping a try. I give it a 10 out of 10 for fun. I think I give myself like a six, maybe a seven out of 10 for a first time. I think it's okay. What do you guys think? If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, be sure to follow along for more DIY nail inspo, tips, tutorials, and fun experiments like this one. Thank you to Flora Nail Shop for sending these over. I really appreciate it. This was so much fun. I'm excited to do some more stamping now that we're learning and we're, we're gonna get better. It's only up from here.